Hi, I'm Ras Amelia from School of Business and Management in Bandung Institute of Technology, Indonesia. I would like to present my research about the impact of Russia-Ukraine invasion on oil and gas stocks in seven countries by using event study approach. Here's the content of this presentation. There's five contents which are introduction, literature review, methodology, result discussion, and conclusion. Move to the first content, which is introduction. So, in investment, the goal of investors is to gain profit. To conduct investment, investors need to make an analysis. There are two kinds of investment analysis, such as fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Investors can use fundamental analysis to analyze a company's operations to learn about its profitability and stock worth. Using technical analysis, investors examine previous stock prices and seasonal price patterns. However, the capital market is unpredictable, so because it could be impacted by events, one of them is a political issue that often easily affects stock price fluctuations on stock exchanges around the world. Political event that happened recently is the Russia-Ukraine invasion that was officially announced on 24 February. Its impact on the fall in global stock prices and also oil prices are increasing. So, this research to see how reaction of market with this event, especially in oil and gas stocks on seven countries that as large oil exporters. Whether this political event considered as positive sentiment or negative, since with the increase in oil and gas prices, it gives a signal to the market that oil and gas producing countries will gain additional benefits due to the limited supply of oil and gas, which is the impact of the Russia-Ukraine dispute. And these are the scope and limitations of this research. This research is to analyze market reaction in oil and gas stocks that are listed in countries as large exporters of oil by using abnormal return and trading volume activity. A market announcement may cause abnormal returns for investors, which may be negative or positive. Stock price changes and abnormal return might indicate an investor's reaction to new information. Then, to gauge the overall condition of the market, trade volume data is important. Trading volume activity is described as a tool for observing the capital market's response to new information. And this is previous research that already conducts research by a market reaction to certain events by using abnormal return and trading volume activity. In this research, there are 29 stocks of samples that will be used. These stocks are listed in seven countries as large oil exporters. The countries are Saudi Arabia, United States of America, Canada, United Arab Emirates, Nigeria, Kuwait, and Norway. Because this research is using an event study approach that examines differences before and after an event, so it is necessary to have a research period. In total, the length of this research period is 111 days divided into two parts, which are the estimation period and event period. Then, after all samples are collected, the next thing to conduct is calculating abnormal return. That formulation can be seen on the screen which is abnormal return equal to actual return minus expected return. Then, for expected return, that formula is alpha plus beta multiplied by market return. Last thing that to do in abnormal return is calculate the overall abnormal return of sample stocks with the formula of average abnormal return. Next is calculating trading volume activity. The formula is the sum of shares traded divided by outstanding shares available at the same period, then calculated the overall trading volume activity of sample stocks with the formula of average trading volume activity. Next, this research is using normality test to establish the appropriate statistical techniques for this study and to assess whether or not the data has a normal distribution. The Sapiro will, will be used for this normality, normality test with significance level of 5%, so if p-value is greater than 5%, then it means the data is normally distributed and vice versa. After conducting a normality test and knowing whether data is normally dis distributed or not, a hypothesis test will be conducted. If the data is normality dis normally distributed, then will be used parametric testing, which is pair sample t-test, and if the data is not normally distributed, 
then will be used non parametric testing which is Wilcoxon sign rank test. Next is showing normality test result for average abnormal return data. Most of the category use Wilcoxon sign rank test and the rest which is non opaque and semi strong market form use per sample t test. Then this shows normality test results for average training training volume activity data. All of the categories use the Wilcoxon sign rank test. The result of average abnormal return before after shows it's significant in seven countries and it also most and it also most subsampling shows the same result. It might happen because there is news that has been circulating before the announcement that Russia has officially invaded Ukraine. From this widespread issue, it is assumed that investor predict that Russia will invade Ukraine so that when there is information that Russia has, has officially invaded Ukraine, the information is no longer considered new information, so it doesn't generate significant abnormal returns. However, in an inefficient form shows a significant difference in the average of normal return before and after the event. It might have occurred because there is a high level of asymmetric information. And the result of average trading volume activity before and after shows significance in several countries and also most subsampling shows the same result, except OPEC and inefficient market form. OPEC shows insignificant average trading volume activity. It may, might because oil and gas stocks in these countries are regulated by OPEC. So, because of the investor might seem not bothered by the Russia Ukraine invasion announcement, and that's why there is no significant transaction that happened. Also, in the second subsampling, which is an inefficient market, shows that there is no significant difference in average trading volume activity. The absence of significant differences in trading volume activity shows that investors in countries with inefficient forms do not react Im immediately to make stock transactions. However, significant differences were found in the average trading volume activity in the overall results, and similar results were found for stocks in non-OPEC countries. Markets with semi-strong and weak form. This indicates that information of the announcement of the inflation event is relevant for investors, so that it makes investors conduct stock transactions in the oil and gas sector, and probably because Russia is the third largest oil supplier in the world, and when this event affects the supply of oil, the event influences investors to make transactions. And last part is conclusion. So it can be concluded that the market reaction didn't show significant differences before and after the announcement of Russia Ukraine invasion by abnormal return. However, there is any significant differences before and after the announcement of invasion by trading volume activity. So that's all presentation of this research. Thank you.